Hi all. Okay, this will be December 23rd, part uh, four. Yeah, part four. So hopefully the last part. Yeah, I would think it should be. Well, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, kind of putting together uh, part three just now. So I did a few wee comments at some of, some of the daft things I was talking about and few things I was saying wrong and whatever, uh, um, it's, it's all pretty good, well it's not really, <laughs> from from a German point of view it's not anyway, and it, it started so well as well, the beginning of the day was so good, and, and then I've just finished it with making a, probably, that, well that, this is as far as I've got, I've never went as far in this game, I've never got as far as 23rd, I, I don't think so anyway, if I have I've maybe just been mucking about, seeing what's what um, and I've not been able to release the OKW units um, so I'm just going to bring the map up there a little bit just to see a bit of picture um, and just this down here, it's another blunder really isn't it it's um, something I should have taken more care about uh, leaving just one, two, two or three single units about, knowing that this core's been here for a while as well. Um, a bit silly, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, I mentioned about trying to get a bridge engineer event and the, the start of my next hand. Um, oh, sorry, the start of the 24th. That's uh, currently what I'm seeing. I mean, I've not looked deeply into it, but I don't think that's going to help because I... I think the the hope was <clears throat> to fix this bridge and make it all better, but that bridge you need to come through this road and there's allies on a control and that heck, so that doesn't work. And uh, if it was this bridge to consider, allies oh, got zone of control and these two hexes as well. So, so both the bridges don't help. And then we talked about having this town. And to be honest, I wanted to go back and uh, I might still I might still do that actually. Uh, just go back, hang on a sec. Yeah, I had to go go back and have a look and find out. <laughs> but I didn't actually. It was um here I think at the time. And it was all straightforward one, two, three. I make some comment about I'm not sure why I'm why I'm moving them there, but that was that. Um the other armored unit had come down and and then these, these guys appeared and they they destroyed the armor unit. Um so that's a bit of a relief. I didn't have the chance to to have made made that move, so that's not quite quite so bad. Uh, but I don't think I've got a way. The, I've got five cards in my hand still, but I don't think I've got a way of um, uh, getting supply to the majority of the guys are crossing the west there. So anyway. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll just have to deal with that when we come to it. Okay, so, um, like I said, it was just all wee comments that I left, but there was one mistake that I made, which I, I noted on the video as well. Um, uh, when I advanced uh, this fourth armour unit, um, well, he's mechanised, of course, so he could, he could advance another hex, a few hex advance, and then... Um, so it says allied advance restriction. A mechanized unit advancing a second hex will deviate from the path of retreat to follow the primary or second route, secondary route if if able. Otherwise, check for advance along the path of retreat. Um. So. I think that means right. There's, well, the primary arrow is there. So, well, even if he did want to move into there, he, he couldn't. That's stacked up. Now, what unit, what were we on? This was unit five. So, hang on, I might need to... No, because unit four couldn't, it rolled and uh, and didn't move. Unit unit eight was in here. Let's put, let's put that back to there. And unit five was in there. Right, okay. So, he did advance. So would he advance again? Well, he can't go into the primary route because this is fully stacked anyway. 
um, he could go into the secondary route. So... Uh, hang on a sec, I'm not quite sure how that's written there. Hang on. Yeah, I'm not 100% not sure of this. Um, although I'm pretty sure I've done this before. Although not within this game. I think this is the first time we've had a second advance, but I've done it before. So there's a bit under there, under the wee table that you roll. It says, if a unit advancing a second hex has a choice of hexes to enter, check for advance into the hex with the highest chance of advance only. So I'm thinking that's, that's his secondary route into there. So I reckon he can go into there. And so I'm assuming we roll the dice. There's no units advanced into there already. He's going into a secondary route. So it's on a one to eight, he'll advance into that queer hex. I think that's right. Okay, so I've rolled a one. So I think he advances into here then, which is, would have been the secondary route. Um, that looks not a terrible move for the Allies, to be honest. Right? They're, they're probably going to have a go at Bastogne sometime soon, I think. Um, okay, so that would bring us back to... So that was four, five... That's unit seven. Now unit I. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, hang on. I may need to look at this. Hang on. Right, sorry, I had, I had to go back and have a look. Um, number four rolled and missed. So he didn't move in because this is other route. Number five rolled and went in there. Now he's advanced the second hex. So now we're on unit seven. And because there was a unit in there at the time and it was other route, I didn't roll. But now there isn't another unit in there and it's other route. So he can maybe advance on a 1 to 3. So this is the recon unit. That's a 7. Okay, so he's, he's not going to advance. So then it's unit 8. Um... Yeah, this is a bit messy, isn't it? Because there were used to, there was a unit in there, wasn't there? So hang on. <laughs> okay, so this unit rolled a one. <laughs> I know this is a bit messed up, but you know me. Um, so it was a one, and we thought there was an R unit in the hex, but it's not. So it would advance on a one to eight. So that did. It rolled a one. So then you go back to this unit. Now, it didn't roll because there was two units in there, but that's not the case now. So, uh, other route... Oh, no, he's not going anyway, because it's other route. There's one unit in there. He won't move. So, but unit selector number 10 here is going to have a chance because that secondary route with one unit in there. So he, he will advance on a one to four. That's a seven as well. So, yeah, so nothing much changed really. This, this unit had advanced the second hex, and this unit's still the same. They're, they're all still the same. So, um, okay. So, I think that's that, that got that sorted, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so carrying on with the uh, Allied Impulse that we, we left off there, because uh, didn't have the didn't have the time, <laughs> one of the patients to work it out before the the end of that last video. So he, here it is. Um, this I thought this might have been a candidate. I'm looking for. I'm trying to get something within three of the core to start with, or I'm under method A, just three of their core. Um, I'll pan the camera on there. Just thought you see. And stuff on there, but there's nothing. Um, I thought this at first, but th these guys have come across the river. There's no bridge there to bring them in there, so so that's not um, an option. Um, I thought this one was maybe a possibility, but one, two, three, that's surroundable. A German unit can come up to here and here, so that's surroundable. And then I, I spotted this one, and um, I think this is good. Um, that's a the line of their core boundary, so it's north of there, so he's within that, can 
Ooh, that's an allied town, isn't it? Uh, yeah, German town. Uh, that doesn't matter. He can still get supply. That's fine. He can just go round about. There's a unit here. Um, yeah. Okay. And I don't think that's surroundable. Um, this unit can get up to as far as here because this is under control. It's all through the forest here. Uh, I certainly don't think we can get a, a unit. Um, don't think so far at all. Oh, hold on, hold on, Grant. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe I can. Hang on a sec. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I can. I maybe pointed at this hex, but although I didn't I didn't foresee that. But this hex, um, I don't think we can get a zone of control on this hex. Um, the blue cubes, dark blue cubes are where I could get German units to. Um, but. Let's say, cause it's through. I don't think I can get anybody here, can I? One, two, three. No, it would. If there was a a mechanized unit there, that would be one, two. Oh no, it's still four in the forest. So. Nah. No, I, I think this one's good. Um. I like to say I'm only looking at the moment just to see if there was something within three of the core unit. So I don't think we're gonna get anything else. Um you can't put it in the town, so obviously that would have been preferable, but that, that that's you can't do that with the the, the deployment. Um Okay, I'm gonna go for that and can maybe look at things later and Although once you're putting the reserves down, you want to make sure you get them because it's difficult to change it afterwards. Okay, so he's the first selector number 13. I don't think he's not surroundable. Country supply. German unit is proximate to it. Um, yeah, this guy can go one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, yeah, actually it is only this guy I think that can get in there, but one, two, three, so it is proximate, yeah. Okay, so, right, let's see if that branch is anything else out. Well, it's quite possible that this, this hex is an option now, I've not studied it fully, but obviously we're cutting off with this guy going here and cutting off this uh, road up to here, I don't think we can get a zone of control to this hex. Um, and this would be within three of his own division as well. So, um, just I'll just have another quick look at that. Yeah, I can't see the Germans able to zone of control this hex, especially this this unit there. I can't get into here anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for that as well. Okay, so the last one. Um, let's have a look. Hang on, just backing up there. Could that have been a possibility too? Well, mind you, this is a three. This is a higher hold value anyway, so. Um, it may have been a contender to be honest but now that is adjacent to that but I'm wondering about that one possibly um, let me see yeah I think it is as well because I don't think we can get a zone of control here um, Sine here um, would have been a better target but uh, German unit's not approximate one, two, three, four, and then it would need on our three movement to get in there. So I don't think that's don't think there's any approximate. Um yeah, there's no infantry units in that, so nah. Which would have got there, wouldn't it? One, two, three. Um so yeah, no. But I don't I, I think that's um I think that's good. 
the position hex can still trace the play and that's not surroundable and it's within three of their division. A brave, a brave unit coming in there, but it is, um, it's shutting off uh, <laughs> some of the things we were thinking about, you know, um, stopping me from coming across. Well, well, need to try and take that out first, anyway. Um, I think that looks okay. As usual, reserves, mm, you never feel. 100% sure, but um, we'll go with that. Okay, the German Impulse. Okay, I've had an idea. <laughs> uh, whether that counts for anything or not. But it looks interesting. Um, I think about straight off, uh, I like the fact of being able to play the one. This is my, going to be my last chance to do it today because as of tomorrow on the, the 24th, uh, one's enough to pass across to the Allies, so... Um, so yeah, I'm, go I'm going to do this, and I'm going to activate... I can either activate the 2nd SS or the 9th SS. Of the mem mem this is a misprint, this it should be the 2nd SS Panzer Corps. That's a uh, black bordered guys. Um, so I'm going to activate the second, they are all second SS, aren't they, Grant? Pretty sure they are. E yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just... Should, it would be nice to do something about that guy as well, wouldn't it? Oh. Now, I had my plan all worked out. <laughs> My thinking was, second SS, attack this guy. Um, hopefully take him out. I know we've not got an, an awful lot. We're going to have only four chip pools, I think. We would take him out. We could advance twice into here. And then I've got an assault coordination. Activate the... I've also got the first SS. I had to the first SS assault coordinate on that guy and I think it could could be quite a good attack. Um but I'm just seeing this now thinking hmm. now, I think I'll stick my my plan because uh, this guy can't trace supply. And even if I was to get him up to here, he's still not got a supply trace. So, you know, why not just leave them there? Hopefully make them easier to get to have a go at next turn. Um, and the one thing is he's got a, he's got a fume marker in there. And uh, I did mention we didn't get many division cards today. So there's a good chance we're going to get a few of them tomorrow and maybe end up with some units out of fuel. But, well, I guess that's how it is. Uh, um now can I know this has came up in the forums, I know this question has been asked before, but I'm just wondering can I play fixed artillery if I don't have the range? Can I play it as a combat tactic? Just to get a chip tool. My my thinking is that I'm sure it was brought up before and it was one of the ones that you couldn't do because it was it was illegal if you like because it was the range wasn't there so I don't think you could play it in the first place um, I think I might go and just see if I can find that though because I think adding an R chip out of this battle might be what I want Oh, well, I got my answer. Right, it didn't take much searching. I knew there was something there. Um, the question was asked about using fixed artillery outside the range. and I think um, that guy Tom, I know, he was one of the playtesters, I think, says that it was okay, yeah, but uh, John Butterfield comes along to confirm later on that uh, you can play any combat tactic unless the tactic description includes a requirement for play that you do not meet. 
This applies to two German tactics in the German solo and two player game. You cannot play fixed artillery outside the fixed artillery range and you cannot play infantry infiltration if your attackers do not include infantry. So there we go, we can't play fixed artillery. <laughs> so that'll be that then. Um, and I don't think, well, just wondering, could I play? No, I don't think I can anyway, hang on. No, I can't. I've got a reinforced battle, but I can't. There's nothing I can get to reinforce there. I know what other card would be to use the first SS Panzer Corps card for artillery, but that kind of defeats the purpose of my second card play of the, of the impulse. Um, so I think we're going to have to go with that. It's only going to be four chip pools. And he is going to get to draw a card. There's no... Well, hang on here though. I'm saying there's no units in the reserve units box that he could get as an undetected defender, but I'm pretty sure these guys are out of contact. Mm, that would be nasty if one of them popped in there. Um, seven core, isn't it? Um, well, if Play the core card, the division card, no, not the second armor card. Oh yeah, we have. So there's maybe there's maybe one card, but then again I could draw an army card too. I? Oh god, I could do this, I could do that. I can't. Right, make your mind up. I'm just trying to kill time because I, I don't actually want to move on to the 24th and into the supply phase. Because it's going to be horrible. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go with this, so, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Grant, this guy's not exerting zone of control, we could get round, no, we can only get into here, can't we, and that's breaking zone of control, one, two, three, four, so we could get a unit into there, hmm, yeah, well, it would be worth it, though, because we would end up getting this flanked if we moved the unit into here. And not have the one hex attack, too, so... That'd be... Good, I think. Um, he's the strongest unit, because we're going to get a couple of bridge checks. There's two bridges here. Hmm... Um... Take them take that one I think. Okay, so I'm gonna move this unit into here for what well no two is breaking zone of control. So two movement points into here. Um we'll take the westernmost bridge first and then the one um can we see that? Right, so the one in the west. Oh great, that's a two. Okay, so that one breaks. And the one just southwest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're finishing the day in style. Okay. <laughs> right, we're not going to be rushing to go down that way then, are we? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that. Does that help keep these guys away from us? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so he still only moved one. Yeah, okay, so he's going to move another... Uh, sorry, he'd move two movement points. That's, a, that's an R2 into there, then. That's four. That's as far as he can go. And then... Yeah, we might as well move this guy into here as well. That makes sense. Spread them out a bit. Yeah, actually, it actually surrounds this guy, doesn't it? Because um, by doing that, putting that guy there as well. Um, so, yeah, that stops the defender coming in, yeah. Just as, just as well. I didn't jump in there and 
Just start drawing chips. Um, okay. Yeah, and I'll start, I just wonder, because we've split the stack up, can we re We still can't reinforce battle, because nothing can get through. No. Okay, right, this is going on too, too long, Grant. So we're going to make an attack on this guy. We've got 7, 12, so we've got 12 to 2. So 6 to 1 odds, that's good. Um... Unfortunately, only four chip pools. So they need to be good chip pools. Um, yeah, we're not going to play any cards because we, yeah, we're not. So he can't get an undetected defender now, but he can still get a combat tactic. So let's draw for that. Ah, oh, come on, tank battalion. Uh, I was hoping for a reinforced battle or something, something that couldn't help him. Um, that does help him, gives him armour too. So jumps his strength to three um, and gives him armour. So what did I say we were? Nine, twelve. So twelve to four now. No, 12 to 3, sorry, I'm get my number, 12 to 3, isn't it? So it's drawn to 41, is that right? 3 fours or 12, yeah. Okay, well, that was a bit of a bad one though, wasn't it? Okay, never mind. Um, so, What we got? We got um, just a minimum of one and maximum of four. So let's get the one, see what we get. Well, he's not a wheat, but he's not green either. So, right, I'm going to get the other three. Uh, well, that things continue to go <laughs> a bit sour. I mean, we've got enough to kill him. So, yeah, I mean, I only needed D1, didn't I? He had nowhere to retreat to. But we've got A2, which, uh, okay, so he's um, he's eliminated. There's two more units going in the cup, so we're up to 38. Um, Dice away, take the two chips. Well, we've got we've got two hits to take. <clears throat> this is a problem, isn't it? Um, because we've got two one-step units and a two-step unit. So, well, I suppose it's a no-brainer that we're having to take uh, the step on that. But now <laughs> the decision is. We disperse them all, and then they don't get to do what we were talking about, or we lose one of them, and only two of them are going to get to do. Uh, I don't know. Let me look at the numbers up. At, um, very. So yeah, I would get. At the moment, the two stacks of first SS attacking our what? Um, not our one. Very. I get three to one odds because uh, I've got 18 strength there. That's going to be six. Three to one odds with six chip pools. Um, and. See the other reinforced battle? No, I can't. I, no, my plan has to be the salt coordination. So. If I move two of the units in, one of them is going to be eliminated, of course. I'm then going to get 41 odds with another two, and then the uh, combat tactic, another three chip pools. So I would take it up to nine chip pools at 41 odds. Which well, sounds good, but uh, I don't know. I've, uh, that Bervier's not been nice to me. <laughs> I've tried. 
at least twice now, haven't I? Or is it th no? I think I've had three tries at it, haven't I? Um, yeah, reinfor I've got a reinforced bow, but that's that's just not going to help me because. Um, so sorry, well, I remember that. I've satisfied one hit by taking it on the two step unit. So, so I've just. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the hat. I think dispersing these guys and weaving them there just just feels wrong. So I'm going to take the hat on this guy. So that's eliminating him. Not great. Getting quite a pile in the eliminated units box now. And then I'm going to advance. That takes care of the last hat we had. So I'm going to advance after combat. One into the hex and one into there, and the same with him. Yeah, so I've got to try and find something to finish this day. But I know it was a good start to the day, but it's all going. It's all pretty bad now. So I'll, I can have a go at this at least. Okay, let's clear that up and, well, I think that'll be my next move. Hi all. Okay, um, I talked about my next plan being use the first SS at this unit. We've got these guys here, I was going to use the salt coordination. Well, I've been looking at things and I've uh, decided to change that up a little bit, I think. So... Um, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use Reinforced Battle with this. Um, so it's just going to be the same. And uh, I'll just show you my thinking, and this could be some crazy talk, but uh, I'll show you what I'm thinking. Uh, so there's the four cards in my hand, and obviously I was going to activate the first SS. I'm going to use that for Assault Coordination. Um, because I did think that I might be doing something with these guys. I might want to do something with these guys, but um, if one of them could reach somewhere that would help me get supply, I would definitely do it, but it's um, not going to happen. So, and I'm not really in a great position. I mean, yes, I could have attacked here, used the assault coordination there, maybe on that, but I think this is a this is a good chance to go for Verve before it gets strengthened because it could quite quite easily get strengthened again. It's only three points in there, three strength points in there just now, which obviously, as we know, doubles to six. So, but uh, there was three units in there for a while. So, you know, I think this is a chance to go for it. What did I say? Forty-one odds, something like nine or ten chip pools, I think. So, um. I could quite possibly lose a couple of units in the battle, but if I can just shove the unit out, if I can just move them out, I'm going to go for that and try and get in there. But anyway, so so I'm thinking about passing on the 57 core. Um, sorry, 58, 58 core, yeah, sorry. Um, and using that for the reinforced battle, um, I'll put the north there. So that would be the two cars used. And then part of the reason was this can't, this fixed artillery is only going to be able to get used if, it, if the battle's over to the east there. Oh, one other thing I thought of doing was replacing a point with a spot. If I do that, the allies are going to get three more impulses. Whereas if I can use two cards and then two cards, then they'll only get two more impulses. So I'm thinking about using this and activating this core um yeah and I'll show you so um we've got this unit here down threatening Elbrook um so we've got one of the 53rd core units in here that could come down um and then this unit could come down. And I even thought, now I don't know if this does sound crazy or not, this guy could actually come up. One, two, three, four, 
and join the battle, leaving our one empty. Um, I'm not sure how daft that sounds. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's our town. It's it's going to be a German town, so nothing can deploy there. Um, so we might get might get a warning sign. <laughs> Uh, although I don't know, there's three 12 core units in the reserve units box for tomorrow, and they're all going to be deployed below this line. So um, that's going to be a bit of a gamble. Uh, anyway, I, whatever, I thought I could get a go at this guy and use the fixed artillery. That was sort of my thinking. I know it's not anything startling, but... Um, it was still getting, the same thing was happening up north and this just felt like it was going to only give the Allies two more impulses. So, I think I'm going to go with that. I was going to say I can find out first, but I mean I want to do the attack up north first. So, maybe we'll see what the Allies' impulse is in between that, the two, or two, last two impulses. And that might change your mind, maybe. But, um, yeah, I'm not... I need to look at the... Well, I mean, if, if the three guys get adjacent, that would be 13 to 4. So it would be 3 to 1 odds. Whereas if it's just the two guys, you know what, it's still 2 to 1 odds, but would we have enough chip pools to... I mean, he's an elite armour unit. Um. Anyway, well, right. Well, the main thing's up north. Let's see what happens there. And then maybe we can... Uh, get either a confidence boost from the battle up there or, or the opposite effect and and uh, do something less brave. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll get organised for up the north there. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play the first SS, activate the first SS, Panzer Corps. Um, I just double checked, uh, we've act at the moment we've got 25 strength points, uh, while we're including these, which we're going to be, to what would be 6 strength. Um, so that's 4 to 1. And just a quick thought there, let's just say it draws a tank battalion, these strength, or my well, combat engineers wouldn't do it anyway, because he's not, he's in a town. But I would say it was tank battalion, that takes up to 4, so then we double to 8, so then we drop to 3 to 1. So uh, there's not we can't get to 32 strength, so so there's no point trying to um, stretch out to that. I could, I think I could get um, another couple of strength points, and, I'm, and, I, and I probably am. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to move this infantry unit out, because he's bracketed, he's only one step, and this unit down, oh, he's off camera, oh, he's just on the edge of the camera there. This unit's two steps. He's an extra strength point, but that's that's not going to come into it because of uh, the way it is. I was initially going to bring this three strength unit down in there because I think he can get in there. But he's only one step as well. So just thinking about where the damage is going to go. Now, that's the other thing. These are all one step. So it'd actually be better because this is two steps. You know, I'd like a two-step unit in there and a two-step unit in there. So, because remember, you can't take damage from the same stack twice until you've taken one from each stack. So I wonder if it's possible to get that. Um, well, hang on, he would be... Yeah, we could bring... Uh, a bit of shimming about it. Let me see if it can work. Uh, okay, I think I've got a plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move Piper unit, uh, breaking zone of control, four into there, and then five, and one more into there for five. Um, I'm then going to take this unit, breaking zone of control for two, and then go on three more into there. Um now I think I'm I'm gonna take this infantry unit out. 
Not sure what I'm going to do. Um, hang on. Yeah, I think I'm just going to move the infantry beside the piper. So that's one, two breaking zone of control, and then three into there. Uh, then we're going to grab this 12th SS unit from here and go one, two, three, four, five, and then get this guy. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we've got a two-step unit in there and a two-step unit in there. And I think the strength is something similar. <laughs> um, right, I'll, I'll, I'll check that now because we've got a couple other units we could move there. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't get this guy involved. I can't, this would have been nice to have got him, but his, his infantry is just out of range, so. But let me think what I'm going to do with them. I think I'm actually going to bring these two along, so I'm going to... Oh, there's another unit there too. Right, I'm going to bring this one, two, three. And I'm going to bring this armour in here too. Because I think once we... Uh, if we can take care of this guy, we're probably going to have to try and shut this guy off as well. Um, we'll at least get him surrounded. Nah, yeah. Um, so lastly, well, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna leave that there. It's not really. So I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna bring that unit down to there, I suppose. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's all the movement. So we're then gonna attack. So let's just count up here. So that's eight, and all chip pools. And uh, stretching up the table here again. So another, what's that, 11? All chip pools as well. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to reinforce battle. Um, with these guys. For another seven. So what does it say, 11 and 8? Oh God, I forgot again. Sorry guys. 8, yeah. 11 and 8 is 19 and 7 is 26. Right, so we, we did bump that up by one strength point, but like I say, it's, I don't think it matters anyway. So 26 to 6, 41 odds. Like we said, um, 41 odds. Now they're all chip pools, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one for elites, nine, one for reinforced battles, ten. Um, Yeah, that's right, because I took the bracketage unit out. I thought I thought it should have only been nine, but I was forgetting I took the bracketage unit out, so that gave me an extra chip pool. So ten maximum. <clears throat> Two minimum. Okay, he's gonna draw a card and he can get a defender. Not, not that sure there's any anyone he could get though. There's nobody in the reserve units block, so let's see what they get. Um, well, it's third core, so it does, it's not a match. Uh, air power. Oh, sorry. Um, air power. Well, suppose it's. Um, I'll put that up the side there. I need to put somewhere for the chips. Chips going. So. Okay, so they've got air power. Yeah. Okay, um, fourth time lucky then, on Verve. If it is the fourth, it might just be the third. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's uh, maybe it is only the third attack I've had. I know I know we've definitely had two tries, but okay, let's do this. Let's see if we can finish the day in style. So a minimum of two chip pulls and a maximum of ten. I'll get the two. Oh, well, I thought it was not a bad start because this is a this is a large attack. 
Uh, ear power. Uh, no, he's not. He's not a wheat or a green. So one hat on us already. Yeah. Listen, we're getting all ten. I'm not messing about here. We're we're taking verve A. So I'm gonna get eight more chats and we're gonna knock that guy out of there. Okay, here goes. Uh, I think if I hadn't been for air power, I think I would have had him. Look we've got two air power chats, both are large attacks. Both would have been both would have been D ones, I think. Yeah. If he hadn't had air power, we would have had an extra D2. Ah, these are the way the chits came out. Well, I've got that one, that one, that one, then a 5 to 1. And then that are a large attack. I was like, oh. I finished with a 4 to 1 and a 3 to 1, though. So, um, I think I've got one hit on them. We wanted two, though. We wanted two. Um, so, yeah, let's just count up just to make sure. Yeah, just one more hat. That's all we needed. Just for a second. No, there's nothing. That's it. <laughs> it's not going to change, Grant. So he's got three hats on us as well. Which we, I wasn't fussed about. I knew it was, if I was going to take, you know, if I was going to lose a couple of units, didn't mind as long as I could take the time, take the city. Um, there is a chance he's. I think he's going to, he's going to do a whole. Or is he just going to flip there? He, he has, isn't he? Right, hang on. Right. Well, he takes. He soaks up one for the city. So we've only got one hat to give him. Sorry, I think I was reading notification on my phone there. Hopefully it's not. It wasn't breaking your ears. Or if it is, I'll try and cut it out. Okay, yeah, so one hat stopped the deal. So that's not going to force him to retreat. He's not going to lose his own control if he takes a step loss there. So it is, it's going to be a hold check. Just one more hat we needed, one more. Okay, unless we can roll the dice like we rolled for our one. Uh, so he's going to do a whole check. Six. Two steps is eight. Oh, let's see. What, we need a nine or a ten. Well, we rolled a ten for our one, didn't we? So, okay. Okay, I'm just going to pan out. Of, well, that's a run out of space here. So I'll put the dice up here. Can we see that? Okay. Right, so it's got to be a 9 or a 10, guys. So I think we can do it. Oh, no! It's right in the corner. I'm not joking. It was on the, it was on the zero. It was, it was there, and it just... I, I just seen it go like that. <laughs> oh, it is equal to our left hand, isn't it? Roll die, if result is less than or equal to units hold chance, apply a step loss. Ah. Honestly, it was so close to being the 10 and it just, just flipped over. <sighs> ah, well. Well. I suppose the one thing, the one good thing about that now is we could just disperse because we're at the end of the day, well, I mean, we've got, he's still going to get two more impulses, but it's better than losing on two. Well, I'd only lose one unit, but what's the point? I'm as well soaking up, I mean, three is a perfect number when you come to that. Take one, you've got to take the first hit anyway. And you can soak up two with this dispersal. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, he he drops from a five to a three. So, 
We'll take the elite unit. Not come back down to one strength. So that satisfies the first hit that we've got to take. And then, yeah, I don't, don't see any reason not to disperse some. I'm not get, I'm, it's not as if I'm getting another shot to have another go, so. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna disperse these three stacks of units, but um, I'll just do that um, off camera, and that'll soak up the last two hits. Okay. Ah, oh, and one last thing, just before I finish the the impulse. Uh, I didn't move or attack that guy, so um, I'm as well getting a wee IP marker on him. You never know, eh? Um, and then, yeah, I'll disperse the guys, tidy things up, and then we'll be ready for an allied impulse. Okay, let's get another next allied impulse. Here we go. Oh, goody. <laughs> 21st Army Group card. Bradwin Montgomery. Well, you know what? That, that may not be awful again. Because there's still some units in the reserve units box. It's a British core, but... Um, oh, wait. It's a British core, but... Right, hang on a sec. Told you I've got memory like a sieve. Yeah, it just... It does just say... Um, uh, for the army group card, uh, enter all allied reserve units. Eh? So says on the card as well, deploy all, all allied reserves and these are allied reserves so so I think that's maybe not as bad as it could have been it's strange this game I mean I, I think I've had a few there which have um, been quite lucky with you know certain card draws at certain times but it's funny how you remember the the unlucky moments more than, more than that oops and, um, um, okay, so we're going to go and deploy. Now, hang on, though. We had difficulty deploying them before. Is that not still going to be the case? No, I might not be. Might be able to get them with deployment method B now, I think. Um, okay, I'll, I'll have a wee look and we'll get the camera across. Have a look. Yeah, well... They still have to be d deployed west of the Meuse River. Um, and we've still not got a German unit that's able to get... That's proximate to a hex west of the Meuse River at all. So, um, yeah. So my guess is we cannot deploy them method A, but I think we might be able to do method B now, because... This hex looks right away like it's a candidate because it was within four of a German unit and it's west of the Meuse, so let me just have a look. Yeah, indeed, uh, not only this hex, this one's got a whole value of four as well. So they are within their deployment area, which has got to be west of the Meuse. doesn't matter about boundaries with the guys, but it needs to be west of the Meuse. Um, so they too will be in Allied Supply. Um, uh, yeah, they can trace supply. Uh, now they want to be within three hexes of a unit in this. Sorry, I've this room, so you can hear me right. Within three hexes of a unit in the same army, and then obviously we're looking for uh, core. So that's why I'm looking down here. That's this. To be honest, this is where the the German because the next part is within four hexes of a German unit, regardless of zone of controls, terrain and so on. And then not in dangerous surround, not in a German held town or city. So, and then you'd look for the highest hold value. So it's going to be one of these two. Um, we know it comes down to Western most after that as well, which would be that one. So that's within four of a German unit. It's within three of a unit in the same core. Yeah, it's all good. So we're going to deploy unit number, selector number six there. And then the good bit is we can then do bump, bump. Because deployment method B starts with if there's 
if there's the same division already there, you, you pump them on. So now we're looking at this guy alone. He's the last one. Um, so he can't now go there because it's going to be a Jace. Oh no! A Jace that doesn't come into it with method B, does it? Hang on a sec. Yeah, looks like it's going to be nice and simple. I think he's going to go in there. Um, so within three of his core, it's west of the Muse, it's not in dangerous round, it's within four of a German unit. And like, it's, like I remembered, <laughs> um, there's no restriction on it being adjacent to a German unit, um, an allied unit. That's, that's fine. And, he, and that's got a whole value of four because this hex and this hex would be possibilities too. Um, but this has got a high, higher hold value, so that goes in there. So yeah, um, yeah, I figure that's not too bad, really, is it? When you consider um, it could have been um, activating, what is it, activate all allied units. So a bit of shadow there, I'm pointing. Allied units within five hexes of German unit closest to Namur. There's Namur's up here. With our towing and air power. Um, oh, within the German unit closest to the Muir, yeah. So that could well have been like this unit, maybe. So within five hexes of this unit, we'd be activating all, all allied units. Yeah. So I think that that sounds a bit nastier than just putting the British units out, but. <laughs> Okay, so I think I might have a wee pause there. So we've got, if, well, if we're going to do what we said we're going to do, I'm still a bit uh, unsure, fr frightened to move that, you know, R1 to start with. Um, I wish I could hear you all screaming, don't do that. Keep him in R1, you need him there. But, um, so... Hopefully it's just one more impulse for me and one more for the allies, and then, you know, my my thinking is if I can if I can go and take that fourth armor out that I'm talking about, then start my impulse and maybe push push units back down into R one or protect it. Um, but well, we shall see. Okay, I'll I'll pause here so I'll I'll be back soon, guys. Okay, cheers. I oh. Um Right, as crazy as it might seem, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I think I am going to move this unit <coughs> up to attack, help attack as well. Um, I feel like if, um, you know, this is a, it's a strong unit in here, eh? but if we can get that out of the way, there's not an awful lot left. We don't care so much about this. And I mean, what these guys... Maybe push that way a little bit. Uh, okay, sorry. There was a... I got interrupted there. Um, yeah, I want to be able to push these units. And the other thing is, I think I probably need to go and try and support Bastogne because it looks like these units are going to have a go there. I mean, yes, I suppose I could just move these 53rd core units and actually, you know what? That might be... A, that might be the more sensible option. I move them both over to Bastogne. Um, I just feel like this is probably the one chance to maybe have a go at this guy because I don't know if they've got the force to do it. Well, they probably have. They got that extra infantry unit in, didn't they? Um, oh, you know what? I'm just going to do this because I've got the other card in. Works. It gives me a fixed artillery. If I don't use that and something, I'm going to give the allies another impulse, so... So I'm going to just do this, okay? Right, so he's going to just move across the river. Oh, hang on. Does he want to go into that hex? Well, that's a road, but well, what's his choice? One, two, three, four. Yeah, he can only get into there. Uh, What's the situation with that bridge? 
Yeah, no, it's okay. Allied supply can't be traced to that hex. So when I reach there, Allied supply. Oh no, it can. I'm forgetting about tracing into the unit. That can go one. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Forgetting we've got our one now, haven't we? Um, hang on a sec. Yeah, it can still. So hang on. It can still go one, two, three, four, and catch that road along and then off. So, can I, if I, if I move this guy first, maybe can I put a stop to that? Hang on a sec. Wait, where was he? There. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, if I move this, if I move this guy first, <laughs> just... I don't feel like I should be doing this, but one, two, three. I can only get them in there, I think. Uh, it's a scary business. I mean, there's not, there's no allied unit proximate to R1. They've not got any reserve units in the reserve units box if they get them, and they can't deploy in a German city, a uh, town, town or city anyway. The next day he's got the 12 core, well, we talked about that, but they've got to be deployed south of this line, so... Yeah, I really... Because, I mean, they could start deploying... One could potentially maybe deploy here or here, and then it's close, and then they link up. Mm. No, let's just stick with this. I'm quite deep into the game now, and I'm just... I'm not, I'm still enjoying it, like, I just, um, I'm maybe taking too long with things, and even if these are poor decisions. <laughs> uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, so you can get in there. So, well, to be honest, I don't need to put them in there, I can put them on the road, and the road's a better place to put them. So we've got the guy flanked, he's surrounded. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. So that's 8. 13 to 4. So it's 3 to 1 odds. Not brilliant, but that's okay. And um, chip pools at the moment are 1, 2, 3, and then 1 extra one because he's 3 steps. So that's 4. But we are going to play this fixed artillery. Like I said. So that's going to be five chip pulls. <clears throat> Oops. Um, yeah. Five chip pulls. And yeah, the fixed artillery is six. Range is six. So they're one, two, three, four. So we're all, we're all good with that. Um... Okay, so he gets to draw a car, but he can't, he can't get an undetected defender because he's surrounded. But he still can, can get a combat tactic. Let's hope it's a what, reinforced battle or something like that. Tank battalion. Oh, come on. Okay, well, he's already got armour, but he's now got five strength. <laughs> so I think that's just not mods down to two to one, isn't it? What did I have? 13... So it's 13 to 5, 2 to 1 odds. 2 to 1 odds. So the other part of tank battalion doesn't do anything anyway. He's got armour, so... Hmm. What is he in a broken hex? Which isn't too bad. He's a wheat armour, so... Okay, maximum of 5 chip pulls, minimum of 2. So let's grab the 2. Well, this was 6 to 1. Combat engineer in the back, so it didn't apply. And I thought this one wasn't going to apply either. Only attack of combined arms. We don't have armor. <laughs> this core is the same as the the 50, um, 67 core. The red ones are way up the top. If you remember, um, I had took a hit and I took a hit on this guy, the red guy. He's the same. He's an armored unit, but he, although he just drops from four strength to three strength, he loses his armor. Um, and that's why I would have took the hit on that guy instead of taking the hit on that guy because he drops for 5 to 3 
but that loses my armor and it's just cost me there so yeah okay i'll get the other three. Oh dear well that didn't go well at all um this was five to one on the back but look it was three to one it would have given well mind you the hit wouldn't have marred because we've got a broken hit a broken to give us a d minus one and then on our defender armor I'm just looking there, there's not an awful lot of chip. I mean, I had flank on him, I suppose. Um, but the fact, he he's also elite, elite armour. All I've got is flank. I mean, I didn't, even at the odds at 3-1, to one, it probably was a silly attack. I just should have made sure this guy was surrounded and um, couldn't get supply in the next... Uh, yeah. And we've got two hits now to take. Yeah, well. Okay, so just take a hit on that and I take a hit on this. And, well actually, hang on. I could disperse, couldn't I? And I'm as well to. Um, I suppose I'm better keeping the keeping that guy, yeah. Or am I? Hang on. Nah, I'm actually going to do it the other way around, I think, because take a hit on this guy and just disperse. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm thinking of. I mean, I'm, but I suppose this guy might just be going back down to R1. He's still got two steps, he's got three strength. That guy might be doing other things. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking about, really. But, this a, well, very disappointed in that attack, anyway. But, again, it's one of these hindsight moments where I feel like I shouldn't have done it now, but that could just be because of <laughs> what chip pools I drew. Um... I don't know, maybe some of you are thinking there, well, I wouldn't have made that attack. <laughs> yeah, probably quite right. Anyway, let's not go on about that. So, okay, that's us. That's all our cards done. So the allies are going to get one more impulse. And we'll get done with the 23rd. So, give me a sec. Okay, let's get this over with. Last impulse of the day, allied impulse. Oh no. Mm. So he's going to get another card, isn't he? Okay, I think it means he's going to get two more impulses now. Um, yeah, mm. not. Not just two more impulses. Well, what's going to happen? Uh, this this triggers the event air power, but because of the no command exception, he's going to get to draw another card because this was drawn as his first card for the impulse. So triggers air power. Is no units. Uh, it did have a unit out of supply. I talked about that's the one we eliminated. So he's no units out of supply or isolated. So then he's going to do strafing runs again. Well, I have no cards in my hand, so I don't have to discard a card, which is good, but I'm still going to get this put in my hand. <laughs> so I've got the no command, the air power card, if you like, in my hand. He's now going to draw the other card for this turn. Um, uh, right. I was just hoping this might be a simple case of like, because <laughs> I'm a bit knackered after what the day, and probably shouldn't have even sat doing that. And this attack down here's not helped me. It's not. It's not cheered me up much. <laughs> um. Okay, but this is the last. I should try and bash through this because it is the last uh, impulse of the day. Well. 
it's going to be he's going to get another impulse now because I've got a your power card but it's still going to be the last mm. okay so there's no core reserves expedite there's none to expedite he's no damage units so he can't assign so so he's going to um, uh, activate these units uh, 30 core British units so yeah there could be a, quite a bit involved here yeah, I'm starting to think this might take a bit more time than um, I've really got the patience for at the moment. So, I'll maybe just stop there. <clears throat> Let's see, I was hoping to wind up the day, but the fact he's going to get another impulse as well, it's going to take a bit longer even still. But I think all these guys are probably going to make an attack. Well, it depends what cards we draw, but they're, they're going to do something. There's a bunch of them, so... Um, okay, I think I'll I think I'll leave it just now. Um, I might have more time. Uh, probably not later tonight. I I think I'm just a bit burnt out after work the day. So, um, hopefully we'll get back to it tomorrow, though, guys. Okay, so I'll leave it for now. Okay, cheers.